in the invisible boatmobile. Oh, jingle bells. Mermaid dance smells. Barnacle boy laid an egg. The dirty bubble popped and the mermaid... The first season of SpongeBob SquarePants is iconic and is filled with tons of great moments. But I hate to break it to you, but it also has a few mistakes. In today's video, we'll be taking a look at a few of those mistakes. So let's get started. Before we get into the video though, leave a comment down below, letting us know other cartoons you'd like us to cover on the channel. Also, don't forget to subscribe to the channel, that way you enter in to our monthly shoutout giveaway. In the episode Hooky, fishing hooks have randomly begun to pop up around the waters surrounding Bikini Bottom, causing concern for Bikini Bottom residents. No one is as concerned as Mr. Krabs though, who warns Spongebob and Patrick to stay away from the hooks to prevent them from getting hurt. But of course, the pair do not listen, resulting in Spongebob nearly dying by the ending of the episode. During this scene, Spongebob loses his underwear and screams in horror due to everyone in the Krusty Krab seeing him naked. And if you look at Spongebob's mouth, his tongue has completely disappeared. Weird. Oh, look! <laughs> it's Spongebob nudie pants! <laughs> well, that was more of SpongeBob than I needed to see. When SpongeBob pulls a legendary spatula out of a bucket of grease in the episode Neptune Spatula, he ends up summoning King Neptune. Turns out, King Neptune is not very happy about being summoned, especially by SpongeBob. So, the king challenges SpongeBob to prove his fry cooking ability in a competition. During the competition scene, we can see various fish throughout the audience, and as the scene progresses, some of the fish randomly change color, making for a subtle continuity error. SpongeBob and Squidward are tasked with delivering a Krusty Krab pizza in the episode Pizza Delivery, and things take a turn for the worse, with the pair eventually getting lost and nearly starving to death. Heck, Squidward gets so hungry that he almost eats the pizza. Before this happens though, we see one of the pair's failed delivery attempts, which does not go very well for SpongeBob and Squidward. But things don't seem right with the customer either as for a brief second, his fin slightly detaches from his body. Ouch. Don't you ever once think of the customer? You call yourself a delivery boy? Well, I ain't buying! In the classic episode, Hall Monitor, SpongeBob recruits Patrick to help him bring the maniac to justice. Pretty soon though, it's realized that SpongeBob himself is the supposed maniac, resulting in a bunch of funny moments. This episode is great. Near the ending of the episode, however, when Patrick spots the maniac in the dusk of night, he states the maniac is standing at the intersection of Conch Street and Coral Avenue, and there's even a sign to indicate the intersection. But from where Patrick is standing, the intersection looks like one straight road, so this was definitely a mistake on the animator's end. SpongeBob, I see him. Where is he, Patrick? At the intersection of Conch and Coral. That's where I am. In the last episode of season one, SpongeBob wins a competition, earning himself a chance to meet his favorite superhero duo, Mermaid Man and Barnacle Boy. Well, he actually wins a magic conch shell that summons the duo whenever he calls for them, so the superhero duo are not very pleased with Spongebob. By the ending of the episode, however, this changes, when Spongebob saves his superhero friends from the wrath of the dirty bubble. After the scene, we see a shot of Spongebob, Barnacle Boy, and Mermaid Man singing the song Jingle Bells together, but if you look closely, you'll notice that Barnacle Boy's mouth is not moving the entire scene 
despite his voice being heard in the song. In the invisible boatmobile! Oh, jingle bells! Mermaid man smells barnacle boy laid an egg! The dirty bubble popped and a mermaid! 